but right no to you three thank you guys for joining me welcome to abu dhabi and um yeah this is the final round of the season seven campaign here in f1rc gaspin to your right sits the driver's championship that all three of you could win arati to your left sits the constructors that alpine or ferrari could win um jam we'll start with you first um obviously you head into this this finale four points ahead of gaspin so you've got to be feeling the biggest advantage of everyone and throughout the the week with the little sessions we've had your pace has seen immaculate so um you know how are you feeling about abu dhabi do you think you've got this championship wrapped up and jam we'll start with you do you think you've got this championship wrapped up considering you um you're leading Gaspin by four points and your pace throughout the week has seen pretty immaculate? Not yet. I think there's still a lot to gain and because the gaps is underneath ten points, so I think my main objective is just to finish ahead. But I don't think I win the race. I think I win the race three, three races. So Alright. And then, um, Gaspin, you next. How do you think you'll do in this um, finale for um, for Abu Dhabi, for Ferrari? I will try my best, man. Uh, obviously, Jam has have, have pace, so yeah, I will try my best to win the championship, but it's not easy. Uh, I will say good luck to Jam and Arati. I hope they do their best the finale. But I will point for the trophy, because Ferrari... I, has a great opportunity to win, so I will try my best to win the constructor too. But I will point more for the champ for the driver championship. So I will try my best, man. All right, and Arati, last but not least, you um you obviously have the toughest challenge of everyone here, sitting, you know, roughly twenty points, I believe it is. So honestly, you will need a miracle to win that title. It seems, no offense, but almost unrealistic. But you know, this is. FNRC where uncertainty is always a thing, so, um, you know, uh, how do you think you'll, you're coming to Abu Dhabi, what type of mindset will you enter the race with? I will try my best, <laughs> but I don't think I can win the championship, it is too far away. Uh -uh. Alright, well, okay, uh, let's talk about the constructors now, obviously Gaspin, your team Ferrari, have uh, basically dominated the constructors for throughout the second half of the season um, especially now that you're getting more consistent results on the podium and things like that so you go into Abu Dhabi and the constructors lead you having 414 Alpine with 380 so the gap isn't that far considering it's the constructors but well actually since it's only you two driving for those teams like that gap is pretty big so um uh do you think you've got the championship for the constructors wrapped up at least with uh with ferrari gaspin yeah i will try. like i say i will i will point both the title but i think the work the work constructor is so it's gonna win ferrari the constructor so yeah i will try my best to get more points on alpine but obviously not everything can still happen because it's the finale uh but yeah the the title probably will go to to Maranello, but who knows? Maybe it will go to Alpine. I don't know. But I will try my best to win the constructor. Obviously, it's a big gap, so I don't know. But probably Ferrari is gonna win it. All right, and yeah, I'm obviously that gap um, for Ferrari is pretty big. You're gonna need a miracle to win that constructor's title um, for Alpine and bring it home for Alpine for the first time in that history. But you know. Anything can happen. What are you feeling about the constructors? I think the constructors to try and win it is a bit unrealistic because of the massive gap, and I don't think it's going to be a second driver. So I think it's just me again. So I don't think we'll have the amount of points. Mm, okay. And we'll start talking about next season then. So Arati, obviously the news has come out with you. Um, you have been. Um, boosted over to a new team named Braun GP um, that will be replacing Williams and that is obviously the academy team for um, for Mercedes 
And obviously your teammate next season is always crazy. So you've got a pretty strong driver lineup next season um, at Bron GP. So obviously the Constructors title isn't possible this season. But what do you think next season? I think that's definitely possible. And what are your opinions? I think the same. Winning the championship with both teams should be possible. All right, lovely that. And let's see. Um, Gaspin, we'll go back to you. Um, next season, also a pretty strong driver lineup with myself and you. Um, actually, I say that, and I'm a pretty washed driver. I'm not that good anymore. But, you know, just doing this for fun. Um, but, you know, first time that myself is driving for the, for, for the Scuderia. And obviously you've driven here. This will be your second season for them. So, um, yeah, what do you think Ferrari as a whole will be able to do next season? you think they'll be able to go for possibly back-to-back -back titles? Yeah, probably because uh, you are an experienced driver, a very fast driver. Uh, this could be a dream lineup because we bought World Driver Championship. Uh, oh, yeah, I think it's going to be back back to back title for Ferrari so yeah uh, I, I hope we don't do like a 2016 Mercedes season but <laughs> but okay. yeah but yeah I hope we get we're gonna get some wins and win the title again all right and jam last one um, we'll go with you obviously next season well you're retiring obviously I've heard so um, I'm guessing you're just gonna are you going to continue to be the team principal of Alpine, or are you just going to relax? Well, we'll see how it goes. It all depends if I win the championship or not. If I don't win the championship, I'll probably try again next season. And if I do win the championship, then I think I'll just try and help out a little bit for the races. Mm, okay, so you're being basically Nico Rosberg. If you do win it, you retire. All right. Um... One thing I would like to say, if, if you do choose to retire, I suggest you could, and if you want to help out with races, I suggest you should probably become FIA, because we do need some FIA members for next season. I believe right now we only have like two or three, so, yeah, that would greatly be appreciated. Uh, let me see what's another question. Um, uh, I don't know what else to ask. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to ask. Well, I guess that's going to be it for the interviews then. Thank you guys for joining me. And, um, yeah, thank you for your time. You guys have a good one.